Tapos ng kalaban natin. So, uh, poison plant here. Tapos, uh, tumatalon na uh, aqua. Meron siyang kite in jump going for the backline. And then here you have uh, a typical Terminator reptile. So right now, wala tayo ganon kagandang options dito. Well, we can perhaps mm, do hot butt and uh, steel energy, but we can only hope na makadraw tayo ng beast cards kasi hindi tayo makaprogress this game unless we draw our beast cards. Let's see then. Let's just try this. Okay. So, kinuna niya tayo ng energy, but we're gonna take that back. Ah, and if you've been counting, pareho kami ng card count ngayon. Okay. And then, pareho din kami ng energy count. And now we draw two beast cards, just in time. Yan, para maburst na natin to. Okay, so now the plant is out of the way. Siguro ngayon, anong mga pwede natin gawin? Kasi meron na yung kalaban natin for energy coming into this round. So pwede na siyang mag kite jump towards our bird. So we want to maximize the value of this bird bago siya mamatay. So mag all out shot na tayo dito. Okay, kasi may expect na natin yung burst into the bird from this aqua. And then, play natin tong dalawa, you know, for just just for damage. Kasi baka sa round 4, mag jump ulit yung aqua papunta naman sa beast natin. So we want to maximize the value of these axes. And then finally, we just do prickly trap to deal damage dito sa aqua na to. Okay, there's the kite in jump. So we were actually able to maximize yung value ng bird natin from that play. So let's see if that's gonna pay off for us. Okay. So ngayon naka two energy lang yung ano natin, yung kalaban natin. Wala siya masyadong magagawa with those. Uh, kasi kung mag kite jump siya, wala na siyang masasama. So the beast is safe for this round. And then, ito namang Terminator. We only have two energy. Nakakita na tayo ng... Oh, wala pa tayong nakikita. So, baka either mag-pass yung kalaban natin or pagalawin niya tong Terminator. So, you know, we'll just steal energy and do hot butt. Patay na natin tong aqua. Ayun. So, pinagalaw niya yung Terminator niya. So, right now, yung kalaban natin is at... Uh, Two energy still. Uh, sorry, that's zero energy. And then two energy ngayon coming into this round. Okay. Hmm. Ang mga pwedeng mangyari dito is mag-iisang card lang siya and mag-shield siya kasi alam niyang meron na tayong beast cards. So, kung alam niyang 2 energy tayo, pwede siyang mag-anticipate using a shield. But, I think mag-1 card lang to. Tatry niyang i-conserve yung cards niya para dun sa base natin later. So, we can opt for uh, 1 shielding. Hope this pays off. And no, it doesn't pay off. Nagdalawang cards siya dun. Okay. So right now, medyo maraming shielding yung kalaban natin. Gusto natin na yung damage cards natin nandito. So, gawin lang natin to. So, pansin nyo, yung second card ko, yung mababa yung damage para siya yung sasalo ng stun. Oh, a critical. Just what we needed. So, kung hindi tayo na critical hit doon, we actually would have lost the game. So yung beast, sila talaga yung may pinakamatas na critical uh, critical chance. So, you know. Okay. 
Uh-huh. Sorry guys, ah, hindi ko napapansin yung mga questions nyo kapag, ano, kapag nasa game tayo. But now, we're waiting for our opponent dito sa queue. Tingnan ko lang yung mga questions nyo. Ah, ayun na, so kahit nasa 1.2k MMR ako, yung kalaban ko, mga ganun pa din, same ng mga kalaban ko sa 2.7k MMR. And ganun pa rin, nandun pa rin yung matagal na queue. So, siguro may hidden MMR talaga dito somewhere. Yung SLP lang yung dependent dun sa ano. Yung SLP lang yung dependent dun sa kung ano yung MMR value nyo right now. But I guess, kung ano yung uh, ano yung MMR nyo before nagbago yung mga values na yan, ganun pa rin sila. Kasi ayan, no? matagal pa rin yung queue natin eh. Uh, bili ka na second monitor, Prof, para multitask. I actually have a second monitor. Uh, dito ko sa second monitor, tinitingnan yung mga, ano nyo, yung mga chats nyo. And then, of course, the primary monitor is for the game. Hmm. Hmm. May time limit ba para pumili ng cards kada turn? Yeah, may time limit. I'm just not sure. Hindi ko pa tinry account. Hmm. Okay, uh, wait. Okay, wala pa, wala pa. Alright. Pasensya na, medyo matagal yung kalaban, no? Kahit 1.2k MMR tayo, ganito yung experience natin. So, kasi, I believe, hidden, uh, hidden pa yung totoong MMR. Oh, wait! There's a redemption! Wait, my redemption? Sorry, I did not catch that. Huh. Where would I see that? Uh huh. Okay. I'm looking. Oh. So, si Jackie Boy, meron na siyang na-redeem na scholarship. So, it means that right now we only have uh, four slots. But then, sa 5K natin. Are you 666 Ian? Hi, why are you so kind? I am not sure I'll call myself, you know, kind, but if you think so, then okay, I appreciate it. Ayun, meron na tayong kalaban at long last. Okay. So, medyo maganda yung draws natin this game. Medyo madaling isipin what we wanna do. Hmm. Kasi meron tayong tatlong beast cards. Okay, we definitely wanna play all of these. And then, itong all-out shot. Okay, to, of course, seal the deal. Ngayon, itong apat na cards na to, enough na yung damage nito to get rid of this plant. Okay? So, tingin natin magkakat tail slap siya this turn, but we'll just give him the card advantage. Pero pag ginawa niya yun, meron siyang shielding. And so, we're going to play this also, yung prickly chap. Bakit? So in case this beast goes for the burst, tatlong cards lang yung kaya niyan ma-play. And kung meron tayong 20 shield, hindi na tayo maabot ng beast na yan. That's why we play these cards. Okay. Alright then, that's 1, 12. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, ayan, nagkatail siya as we have predicted. So, right now, yung kalaban natin, he used three cards and then meron siyang three energy. So, going into round two, our opponent has five energy. Okay, that's a lot of energy. And now, hmm, hmm. Paano tayo mananalo sa game na to? Meron siyang 5 energy. Kapag nag-survive yung ating plant, wala siyang masyadong magagawa. 
may possibility rin na mag-go for the back door na tong owl, uh, tong bird rather. So we'll just pass and see. Okay, there's the back door. Nag-critical pa yun, alright? So now yung kalaban natin, um, meron siyang 4 energy, same tayo ng energy level with our opponent. And makaka-expect na siguro tayo ng burst dito sa uh, kanyang beast. Yung win condition natin is if this plant survives, so we wanna try to do that. Kasi meron lang siyang uh, 4 energy to spend this turn. Enough but to, 588 HP. We will probably enter last stand with this setup. Okay, let's take the energy away from him. Okay, let's see then what's gonna happen. Ayan, so inasahan na natin tong 4 card burst. Hopefully it's enough. No, it's not gonna be enough. Okay, we tried our best there. Nakita natin kung uh, ano yung gagawin ng beast and we actually tried to uh, maximize our shielding for that turn pero hindi talaga kaya. So, ayan. Itong composition ko, mahina talaga siya sa mga ganitong birds. The ones with backdoor kasi malaki yung ano ko eh, malaki yung reliance natin sa bird, sa backline. And if this bird get rid, uh, gets rid of our bird, wala na tayong magagawa. So, you know, Wala na tayong way to win this, and we just call game. All right. Mm -hmm. Hindi na tayo inaatake ni tong kalaban natin, so you know. Mm -hmm. Saan nakikita yung 5 energy? Okay, hindi mo siya makikita dito sa game. You have to keep track of that in your head. Okay? Kasi alam naman kung paano gumagana yung energy kapag nag-play siya ng 1 energy card, mababawasan siya. And then, you have to keep track of the energy generation cards and the energy steal cards, energy destroy cards para magkaroon ka ng idea ilan energy meron yung kalaban mo at any given moment. Okay? About po sa exam, if nag-failed po sa unang try, pwede ulit. Yes. Only try yan. Only try yan, ha? Oh, why is it taking so long? Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kailangan po sa exam, maka 5k points muna. For the exam later, hindi kailangan. But for the succeeding exams, kailangan na po. Alright. Now, uh, let's try to go to our Arena Basics Part 3. Alright. Counting recap lang tayo before we uh, begin. Last time we talked about how the turn order is determined. Una, tinitig na natin yung speed ng mga axis. So, mangyari dito sa atin is kung mas matas yung speed ng axis mo, siya yung unang titira. But now, paano kung pareho kayo ng speed? We go to the next criterion. Okay, lower current HP. So, kung sino yung may mas mababang HP, siya yung unang titira. Okay. And then, paano kung pareho na nga kayo ng speed, pareho pa kayo ng HP ngayon? We go to skill. So, yung skill na to, okay, i-compare ko sino mas mataas yung skill, and then sino mas mataas yung skill, siya yung unang titira. And then now, what if pareho kayo ng speed, pareho kayo ng HP right now, and then pareho din kayo ng skill stat? We now check your morale. Okay, and kung pareho parehen kayo ng mga stats na to, dito na tayo pupunta sa lower ID number. So actually, marami talagang mga games, especially between two backdoor birds, yung nade-decide dahil lang sa uh, dahil lang sa ID number nyo. Okay?
Now, let's take a look at this. So, ito yung ID number nyo. Okay? Yan yung ID number nyo. And then, ito yung rest of the stats. So, you got your speed here. And then, yung health. Okay? Remember, hindi max health yung tinitignan. Not this one. Ang tinitignan yung current HP nyo in-game. Okay? So, now, here's your skill and here's your morale. Okay. Going on. Review tayo, guys. Review tayo. Ah. How much damage will a single dual blade or, you know, sinister strike if we're keen on the card names? So, si dual blade, ito yung part name. And then, it gives us the sinister strike move. If a beast axi uses this card, second, a mech axi uses this card, Okay. Third, an aquatic axi uses this card. And so, you know, just for the purpose of exercise, let's say beast axi din yung tatanggap ng damage. Alright? So now, kung beast axi din yung tatanggap ng damage, what's gonna happen? This is just 130 times 1.1. Okay? So, yun yung mangyayari sa atin. And then, now, this is just 143. Of course, that's additional 10%. Alright? Now, paano kung mech-axi naman yung gagamit? Okay? This is 130, of course. That's the damage here. Meron tayong 7.5% increase. So, that's 1.075. Alright? So, sabi natin, this is 10% increase. Ito, 7.5% increase. This is 139.75, which, you know, mm -hmm. we can just approximate to 140. Mm. Saan po nang galing yung damage increase? Ah, sige, later yung mga questions nyo, ha? So, ipunin lang muna natin yung questions natin. Mamaya, meron tayong break for me to uh, answer all of your questions. And now, an aquatic axe uses this card, of course. Walang bonus yun. That's just gonna be 130. Okay? Remember, nagkakaroon na bonus damage yung Beast card kapag Beast Axi o Mech Axi yung gumagamit dito. Alright? Ah, now, I hope you're ready for some math kasi paano kung dalawa na yung gagamitin natin? Oh no! Why is the formatting like this? Okay. I'll have to change this really quickly because you really, really have to see this. Okay. Um, okay. So let's just go back to that really quickly. Yup. Ah, uh, guys, kasama to lahat sa exam, ha? Kasama to lahat sa exam. Now, remember, okay, na yung combo effect, we trigger combo effects if, uh, we play, uh, oh, a single axi plays two or more cards in a round. Now, how are we going to calculate the damage dealt by this? Uh, sabi natin kanina, di ba? Kapag beast yung magplay, 143. Di ba? Kapag beast yung magplay, 143. Ibig sabihin ba nun, na kapag dalawang dual blade yung pinlay natin, magiging dalawang 143? Okay. Ibig sabihin ba nun? Ganon? Magiging 286 lang ba? Okay? Yung damage dito? So actually, hindi. Okay? Mayroon tayong additional damage okay, kapag nagkocombo kayo ng cards given by this formula. Of course, this is an approximation. Hindi siya laging exact. So you have to, you know, make plus minus one. Okay. So, halimbawa, tignan natin ulit to, ah. Sabi natin, ang one dual blade, kapag beast yung nag-play, this is 143. Okay? Paano kung dalawang dual blades na? Hmm. Ano yung magiging damage ng isang dual blade? So, meron tayong 143 plus itong modifier na to. Okay? Madadagdagan yung damage ng dual blade natin kasi... Mayroon na siyang nakakombo. Okay? Ayan. 
So again, dual blade, ayan lang yan, dual blade, you have Sinister Strike here. Okay, so ano itong card damage times scale over 500 plus minus 1? Okay, so tingnan nyo ha. Titignan ulit natin yung skill na stat dito, ng beast natin. And then here, you see na 31 yung ating skill stat. Okay? So, kung i-apply natin itong formula na to, what's going to happen to us? Okay, card damage, that's 130, okay? Multiplied by yung skill, that's 31, over 500, okay? Now, meron na tayong, oops, meron tayong plus minus 1 dito, of course. And then we multiply this by 2, kasi dalawang dual blades yung nakuha mo. Alright? Yung skill, stat yan ng axis nyo. Okay? So, tignan lang natin itong part na to. Ah, sige, unti-unti natin ha. Tignan natin itong part na to. So, itong part na to, card damage, yan yung 130, as you see here. And then, multiplied by the skill. Yung skill, stat yan ng axis nyo mismo. Alright? Divided by 500. Ah, so, gawin mo na nga natin to. 130 times 31, that's 3,900 plus 130, that's 4,030 divided by 500. Okay, so this is approximately 8. Okay, so now that's approximately 8, meaning yung added damage natin from the combo, that's gonna be around 7 to 9. Okay, that's gonna be around 7 to 9. Okay. So, you know, para lang medyo conservative yung estimate natin, gawin na lang natin 8. Okay? Gawin natin 8, yung nandito. Uh, so, alam na ha, paano nakuha yung 8. Hmm. So, now, yung two dual blades, ang mangyayari, yung total damage niyan ay actually, uh, that's gonna be around 302. Okay? Hmm. So, pansin niyo kung pinlay niyo yung dalawang dual blade or dalawang sinister strike at two different turns, okay, that's 104 uh, 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 different rounds rather, let's say round one, you played one dual blade. So, that's 143 damage. And then round two, you played another dual blade, so that's gonna be 143. Okay? And now, 286 lang lahat yon. Pero, kapag nag-play ka dito ng two dual blades in one turn, meaning kinombo mo siya, okay, 302 yung madidil mong damage. So all in all, you actually gain 16 damage from using the combo. Okay? So you actually maximize your card value if you play them all in the same turn. Okay? Now, let's try this again. Okay. I'm gonna show you this uh, bird, alright? Gusto ko pansinin nyo yung skill niya, 35. Okay? Now, approximately how much damage will this combo deal against an aquatic axi if a bird axi uses these cards? Ah, tingin ha? Against an aquatic axi, meaning plus zero percent from the uh, elemental advantage RPS, ibig sabihin rock paper scissors. Now, a bird axi is gonna use these cards. It means plus ten percent. Okay, you get additional damage if the same class of axi uses the same class of cards. Okay. So. Let's see, ah. Let's see. So, again, this is going to be, itong double talk, tignan natin. 80 siya, di ba? Plus 10% dahil doon sa bird yung gumamit. Okay? 
oops, sorry, not 0.1 plus 0.8, 0.1 times 80, sorry about that, plus yung modifier doon sa skill. So that's 80 times 35 over 500. Okay? So, yan yung makukuha yung damage mula dito sa inyong uh, double talk. Okay, card damage times skill divided by 500. So, yan yung para magiging rough estimate nyo. Oh, teka, teka, teka. Ang daming nagtatanong na. Sa nakuha na naman yon Skill yung 35. Remember, this is your skill tat, a stat. Nasa ax mo yan. Okay? So, this gives us around 93.6. Okay? Actually, hindi exacto. And in my experience, you actually just get 93. Okay. Ngayon. Kaya mayroong plus minus 1 kasi yun yung parang buffer natin dun sa uh, losses in rounding off. Okay? Now, let's go here. Eggshell naman. Ganon din. 120 plus the 10% bonus. Plus 120 times 35 uh, over 500. Okay? May tanong ba kayo dito? Okay. Mm. So, hindi tayo sure dun sa uh, kung may rounding up, rounding down, rounding... Uh, Whatever na nangyayari. Okay? And itong 500, you know, baka hindi siya ganun kasaktong figure. So, kasi ito 93.6 from our formula, but you actually just get 93 damage here. And now this is approximately 140. Okay? Hmm. And so, Lahat-lahat ng damage na madil mo dito is around 466. Okay? So, and remember na itong buong combo na to, i-ignore niya lahat-lahat-lahat ng shield ng kalaban mo. Okay? Any questions here? Prof, bakit po may 10% additional damage if bird ang gumamit? Now, remember, 10% additional damage kapag same yung class ng axi tsaka class ng card. Okay? 15% yung modifiers natin for RPS. Hmm. Multiple choice yung exam, hindi ah. May mga problem solving part yun, na kayo yung maglalagay ng number mismo. Sir, paano pag double talk plus egg bomb? Hindi siya 88, 93 pa rin. Kasi nakakombo pa din yun eh. Basta nakakombo with any other card, na-activate mo na yung combo bonus. Okay? Walang required na combination of cards, basta may combo. Kahit pa isang Kahit pa isang beast card, tapos isang bird card, makuha nyo pa rin yung combo bonus. Okay? Sa lahat po ba yung 10%? Kahit anong type ng axi i-attack? Yes. Ah. Bakit po yung mekanina nagka 7.5 increase kahit beast card yung ginamit? Okay. Kasi walang mech cards. So yung mech axis... Oh, ito ha. Meron silang plus 7.5% kapag beast cards. Meron silang plus 7.5% damage kapag bug cards. Okay? So, oo, kapag plant yung tatamaan ng bird, may minus 15% pa. Alright? Alright? Questions here? Hmm. 
yung 2 times critical, saan siya yung multiply So, in my experience, sa mga calculations na narun ko, before i-add yung bonus damage. May additional damage po ba kapag ginamit to sa same type of axi? So, kapag yung receiving axi na titignan nyo, you only have to check the card type. Doon lalabas yung elemental advantages nyo. Huh. RPS, that means rock, paper, scissors. So, basically yung elemental advantage. So, here, halimbawa, ito. I-play ko to mag-isa. Yan. So, that's gonna be 99 damage lang. 90, okay, kasi yun yung base, times 1.1, kasi plant yung gumamit. ba? Tapos plant lang naman yung tatanggap. Ito, 99 damage to. O sige, o, pakita natin dito. Tingnan nyo tong hot bat ha. 99 damage yan. Let's see. Okay? So you see, that's 99 damage right there. Oh. Ngayon, people, itatry na natin i-combo itong hotbot natin with another card. You will see na hindi na 99 yung damage nito. So that's gonna be 90 times ilan skill ko, 31. That's gonna be 2,700 approximately. So 2,700 divided by 500, that's gonna be around 5.4. So mga 104 to. Okay? Ah, pansin ninyo yung damage ng hotbot kung 104, kung tama ba yung calculations natin. Okay? Thank you for the posture check and hawks. Okay? Okay. So now you see, there's the 104. Okay? Ganun yung 104 damage na kuha. Okay? So right now, we can easily kill the plant axi, you know, using this. Okay, we just double talk and all out shot. And this plant axi is gonna go down. Ngayon, dahil in-explain ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga nangyayari, hindi na ako sure actually ilan na yung energy ng kalaban ko. <laughs> hindi ko na nasundan. <laughs> so, ano na lang tayo dito? Medyo... Sana ma survive. Okay. So, huh. Okay. We want to try to uh, take this down, itong dusk. But we're not going to be able to do that without using all of these cards. Uh huh. This is going to be a tough one. Okay. Uh, I guess let's just maximize itong value ng bird. Pero medyo wala na tayong out kasi itong bird, syempre, papatay niya yung beast natin if you do this. So, ito na lang. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. So, yep, nothing much we can do for our beast and we're gonna go down. Okay, pero ayun ha, nakita nyo, in action, kung paano nagbabab yung damage when you combo them with cards. Yung 7.5% increased damage, yep, same logic applies dun sa Dusk, okay, at saka sa Dawn. Yes, same logic applies. Okay, so you know, let's just go down with a fight or something. Mm-hmm. Example, pag beast card. Gumamit ng beast card. Oh no, wait. I lost the lesson. Wait. May napindot akong ibang stream. Wait lang, sorry. Ah. Ah. Tama ka, Axie Infinity 19. Na? Kapag yung beast card, gumamit siya ng beast, ah, yung beast Axie, gumamit ng beast card against plant so, 15% plus 10%. That's correct. Alright. Now, of course, we try to maximize value as always. So, I thought this is around 240 damage. 
here, this gives us around 330. So, we'll na plant na to with these moves. But you know, just to be sure, we'll quickly trap tayo in case mag shielding. Oh, that's a lot of shielding. Mm -hmm. Saan ba nabibilang yung Dawn? Yung Dawn kasama siya ng Bird and Aquatic Axis. Okay. So, last stand na siya dito. Huh. So, pwedeng yung gawin niya ang mag-backdoor na siya. So, let's just try to do hot butt this turn, probably. Kahit anong mangyari naman, ito yung best play natin. Hindi siya gumalaw. We get rid of the last stand. Gumalaw siya. Uh, we get shielding and deal damage to the beast. Okay, but... Wala tayong magagawa masyado doon. Okay. Additive din ba yung Nutcrackers RPS? Yes, yes, yes. Oh no, very unfortunate draw. Wala tayong kahit na anong ilalagay dito. So, anyway. Okay. I guess tanggalan na lang natin siya ng maraming HP para mababa yung moral modifier niya. Discussion ng moral modifier, mamaya. Okay. Sir, you upload to sa YouTube? Yup, upload to sa YouTube pa din. Huh, okay. Hopefully enough yung damage natin dito, but... Okay, let's see then. Yes, parang Pokemon lang siya. So if my crit, total damage is base damage times 2 plus RPS plus combo plus stab. What's that? Hmm. Ah, hopefully mabuhay lang tayo. I think kapag nabuhay tayo dito, makuha naman natin siya. Mm -hmm. Social media accounts, I think they're in the channel info. Kung gusto matuto mag acting so uh, nod lang tayo. Oh, that's a lot of bird cards. We're definitely not surviving that. Okay. Ah, that's two losses for us. Ah, ito na yung mga ano natin, eh, mga kalaban natin sa 1.2k MMR. Grabe na talaga. Ah, let's try to... Uh, Oh, After Dark Place redeemed Axie Infinity Scholarship. Congrats, After Dark Place. So now you have three slots, okay? Three slots left for the 5,000 points. Congratulations. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Guys, try ko muna mag-focus dun sa game para magka-chance naman tayo manalo. <laughs> I'm trying to entertain your, all of your questions as well, of course. Good luck dun sa lahat ng mga nag-iipon pa lang ng points right now. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, medyo ano nga siya. Medyo mahirap dito sa ano ko ngayon. Sa MMR ko, in my experience, talagang kami-kami pa rin yung nakikita. Thank you. Thank you so much for the kind words after Dark Place. Thank you so much. And we're still queuing. Antagal pa rin ang queue natin. Uh huh.
Oh wait, naririnig din yung uh, FB chat. Oh, refs. Ilang oras po stream ni Pro? So, uh, typically it's one and a half hours. Ah. Oh, nga naririnig nyo pala yung ano eh, yung mga chat notifications eh. Mm -hmm. The exam is at 8 p.m. Okay. All right. Medyo matagal yung queue natin. Wala na, wala na yung ano eh. Wala na yung IRL word ban. Wala na. Tinanggal na natin yun. Ah. Check out nyo yung mga ano ah. Check out nyo yung mga what? Uh, rewards I guess. Ah, wala pa yata yung, wala pa ba yung ano natin, mga other rewards? Six pa lang nakita, okay. Ah, kung gusto nyo mag-sound trip tayo, sing a song kayo, but you know, that's gonna cost you 3,000 points. Ah, pwede kayo magtabi ng ano, pwede kayo magtabi ng calculator sa inyo kada maglalaro kayo, okay? Grabe, ang tagal ng kalaban natin, no? 1.2K MMR to, guys. Baka nga 1.1K na ngayon. Kasi natalo na tayo ng ilang beses this stream. Hmm. Prof, may iba ba kayong axis set? Para ibang example, okay, we can actually, you know, try that. Uh, but probably not today. Ayan. Hmm. Ah, itong BBP na to, ito lang talaga ginamit ko para umakyat sa ladder from ano well, hindi from 1 to 27 kasi yung pinaka-pinaka unang axis na nabili ko ay ABP alright so oh, it's the same opponent, si T-Garden ayan oh kung naaalala nyo yung mga axis niya, it's the same axis and sabi nga natin Mahina tayo dun sa comp niya kasi may backdoor. Okay? So, tagilid talaga tayo dito kay Mr. T. Garden. Hmm. Yan. Medyo mahirap actually manalo dito but of course we're gonna try. Huh. So, wala. Ang mangyayari lang sa atin dito, we'll have to try and play these three cards. Pero kasi iba backdoor lang tayo ng bird. We really can't do much about that. Ah, hindi pa din. Okay. So, We'll just try to do double talk here. But I think magba backdoor na siya this turn. So baka sayang yung energy natin dyan. Uh, wala rin tayong all out shot para mauna tayo dun sa bird niya. So we have very, very limited options here. Aha. Uh -huh. Baka try na lang natin ipasurvive yung plant. Using this, try natin pa survive yung plant. Let's see what's gonna happen. Kasi kung beast yung gagalaw this turn, mauna tayo and the beast is gonna go to our bird. But of course, that's not gonna happen. Magba backdoor siya. Okay, that takes us to the last stand. Oh, and we still get value from this bird. Okay. We use the all-out shot, of course, and then damage from the beast, and then get some shielding from this plant. Hopefully, makatira yung beast natin. 
at hindi siya maubos nitong bird na to. So let's just try that. Oh, one damage off. We were one damage off. That's very unfortunate. Huh. Oh well. Oh well. Anyway. So that's a lot of lost games here in the stream. Huh. But then again, I hope na yung mga concepts na tututunan nyo, okay? Wait, that's just our first topic, and wow, it's already almost seven. So, alam naman na natin yung mga dito. There's no way we're gonna w uh, win this. Oh, kasi yung bird niya may back door, okay? Yung bird niya kasi may back door, so talagang kahinaan ng comp natin yan. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably have to extend a bit. We'll probably have to extend a bit. Okay. So now going back to our slides. Hmm. Okay. So now let's try to review. Oh. Now, how much shielding? Okay. How much shielding would a single watering can or, you know, aqua stock, yung name ng card, give if a plant axi uses this card? So yung shield niya, 80. You see that here? So that's 80, again, plus 10%. This is 88. All right? Mm. Now, if a dusk axi uses this card, same concept, 7.5%. So that's going to be 6. So this is 86. All right. And then, of course, if, you know, a bird axi uses this card, the bird axi only gets 80 shielding. All right. All right. Great work. 88, 86, 80. So lahat ng nakakuha nun. Great job, guys. Nakakasunod kayo sa calculations. But now, sabi natin, combos increase the damage of, you know, the cards that are being comboed. But now, uh, why is the format breaking? Okay, wait. Sorry, guys. Let me just uh change this for a bit. Okay. Uh, lagay ko lang dito. Okay. Moving on. A chain effect, again, is triggered if two axes play a card of the same class. All right? So, ibig sabihin, axi 1 Let's see, Axi 1, place, watering can. Oops. And then, Axi 2, place, watering can. Oh, guys, hindi necessary na same card yung play nila. Basta mahalaga lang, same yung class. Alright? Oh, now, what's gonna happen? Diba, meron siyang 80 kanina, plus, uh, let's say plant axi, ah. let's say plant axi, yung gagamit nito, dalawang plant axi. So, plus 0.1 times 80, now, plus 80 times 0 0.05 pa. So, ito, this is the chaining bonus. Okay. Prof, pag double card, pag ginamit ko dyan, two, two energies kukunin, yes. Oh, let's say, isang plant axi, ginamit naman ng dalawang aqua stock. Tapos, inatake ka ng aquatic cards. Two energy yon per aquatic card. Alright? Ah. So now, let's try to take a look at this situation. Now you see, uh, ito, before the timer expires, ito yung mga cards na in play dyan. So this axi, this guy played carrot, you see? And then, ito si number 5, ito yung pinlay niya. Leaf bug at saka yung pumpkin. Okay? Analyze natin isa-isa. 
Ah, let's look at Axi 4. Ah, Axi 4, yung shielding niya, you see, is 40 before the timer expires. Tapos lahat ng bonus ma-apply after the timer expires. Alright? So that's plus ah, point, uh, point 0.1 times 40. This is uh, because the plant actually used a plant card. Now, plus 0 0.05 times 40. Okay? So, yan yung nangyayari sa atin. Now, let's look at Axi 5. Ah, ngayon, guys, gusto kong tingnan nyo yung nangyayari sa Axi 5. Remember, this is a bug card. Okay? So, yung mga makakakuha lang, yung mga makakakuha lang, guys, ng shielding bonus from the chain effect is yung same class. So, dito, pumpkin lang yung makakakuha. Okay? Pumpkin lang yung makakakuha. So, for Axie 5, ano yung total shielding niya? 110 plus 20. Yan yung base ng dalawang cards from pumpkin and leaf bug. Additional 10% sa pumpkin dahil plant Axie, gumamit ng plant card, plus another 0 0.05 dun sa 110 kasi chain effect. Alright? And so now, that gives us 147. Okay? Ah. Now, try natin, i-apply sa ano? Try natin i-apply dito. Hmm. Pakita natin siya sa game. So, gawa lang tayo ng team na puro plant. Ayan, plants lesson yung pangalan niya. Ayan o, plants lesson. Kasi gagamitin natin yan for learning today. Ayan, tatlong plants para lang ma madali natin ma-exhibit ano yung mga magiging effects ng chaining. Okay? Oo, dito tayo sa mga ano, plantito. Okay lang yan, okay lang yan. Thank you guys, sa so lahat ng mga nagsusubscribe. I really appreciate it. Sorry, I can't thank you like individually. Uh, but here, kasi gusto natin mapakita shielding. We want to see yung, ano natin, yung shielding lesson natin. Final answer is Axie 5, that's 147. Yes, hanggang 15, hanggang 15k lang muna for now. Mm -hmm. uh Aha, -huh. so now mm, Still no queue Saan nang galing yung 20 Doon sa calculation ng 120 shield Wait Thanks for the posture check, okay uh, Ganun ba yun? Professor loves plant pala Ah, yung 20 yung ano, leaf bug. Leaf bug yan. I'm sorry, medyo matagal pa rin yung queue. We're actually at 1.1k MMR. Pakita natin. Yan ah. We're at what? 1183 MMR. But yung queue time natin is the same as when we were at 2.7k MMR. And sila-sila pa rin yung nakakalaban natin. So, you know, I think hindi nag-reset yung MMR at all. Nag-reset lang siya uh, in terms of the SLP gain. Okay? But in terms of, you know, your bracket and who you're matched against, hindi siya nagbabago. So we're just gonna try to queue again and lumaban. Mm. Ilalabas yung 10k na option kapag naubos na lahat ng 5k. Okay? Plant heal versus double termi. Ayoko sa kanila pareho. But if I'm gonna pick 
between the two uh hindi ako magdetermi okay hindi ako magde double termi but kung dalawang reptile I'll do termi yung isa and then pure well yung reptile na burst yung isa Elemental advantage bonus sa base. Prof, what days do you do streaming? MWF, 6 p.m. Ah. Oh, sila-sila rin yung nakakalaban ko kasi hindi talaga parang hidden MMR siya. Hindi siya nag-reset at all. Parang bumaba lang yung MMR to, you know, less than the SLP gained. But right now, we're still getting matched with same lessons. Ire-redeem po ba 5K every time mag-exam? Yes. Nakalaban nyo na po ba si Bryce? If you mean Bryce and nope, never. Would you consider Bug as an axi? Yeah, for, you know, for more control-oriented compositions. Free sa lahat yung exam ngayon, yes. The exam tonight is free for everyone, okay? So the link will be given out later during the stream. Ah, pero yung MMR na yon probably is you know hindi taken into account yung hidden MMR before the reset. Line up the balance of PVE and PVP again. Kung beginner ka, my recommendation really is Aqua Beast Plant. Okay, we're s we still don't have anyone to play with. Oh, so good. Chat muna tayo then. I'm going to uh, look at your uh, questions in the meantime. Para lang sana mapakita natin yung chaining lessons, no? Mm -hmm. Magkakasama pa rin talaga yung mga ano eh. Yung mga nasa top before. So I think kung sino man yung mga kalaban nyo ngayon, they were the ones na kasama nyo sa MMR bracket nyo before the reset. Tonight, yes, everyone is qualified to, uh, to take the exam. Huh. Okay. So now, makikita naman ang kalaban natin na nagtitrip lang tayo dito. Hmm. But, I wanna show you kung ano itsura ng mga shield. Ah, ito. Piplay natin to mag-isa. Okay? So, look, oh, this is 70-40. And now, since this plant axi is gonna be using a plant card, the shielding is gonna be 44. Alright? Hmm. 40 lang yung nakalabas kasi yun lang yung base stats. All the bonuses will be applied, you know, when we enter in or before combat. So now we expect this to become 44. Okay? Yeah, naging 44 siya. Nakita niyo naman. Okay? So, you know, hindi lang natin siya na uh, mag play. Now, okay. I guess this watering can will make a very great example. Uh, tingin. 80 yan. Sabi natin, magiging 88 kapag plant axi yung gumamit. Now, what if I chain with another plant axi or another plant card from another axi? Mangyayari, itong 80 magkakaroon ng plus 8 because the plant axi used the plant card. Magkakaroon pa ng additional plus 4 Kasi yung chaining bonus. So here now, we're gonna expect that this 80 is gonna become 92. Alright? There you go. That's your 92. Yes, pwede mag if zero energy. You just won't be gaining uh, SLP, but you still gain MMR. Ah, yung chaining effect naman, nare-resolve siya at the start of the combat. Okay? Now, oh, let's try that again. 
Uh, pakita natin paano yung watering can, kung ito lang, walang naka-chain, of course, you should expect 88, alright? <laughs> Oo, ang lungkot dito sa top bracket, tapos 1.1k MMR, grabe. Ang hirap ng mga games, tapos plus 3 SLP lang. Sobrang lungkot, actually. <laughs> ah. Yung MMR natin right now, it's around 1.1k, I think. Hmm. One energy cost per battle sa arena. One energy cost. Oh, sayang. May hindi pa pala ako napapakita. Sana hindi mamatay ka agad. Please. Ah, anyway. Yung chaining bonus, applicable lang sa shielding, hindi sa damage. Yes. Again, shielding is increased by chaining. In the meantime, yung damage naman is increased by combos. Okay? So, ayun na, tandaan nyo. Combo ang nagpapataas ng damage, chaining ang nagpapataas ng shield. Alright? So, moving forward. Huh. So, again, ito lang, isa pang case na pwede nyo i-study. And, uh, you know, kapag gusto nyo balikan itong mga notes natin, I won't uh, delve into this further since medyo kaunti na lang yung time natin for the night. So, do you have any questions? Pag combo, hindi affected shield, yeah. Walang bonus sa shield if you combo. Mm -hmm. ah. Yes, chain yung need para sa shield. Alright? O, kung perfect mo yung exam, eh di ano ka na kagad, instant scholar ka na kagad. Alam lang students nyo na nag kayo? Yeah, I think so. I mean, the students that are my contacts in social networking sites. Prof, sa tingin nyo, yung team nyo ngayon, ano need improve? Well, actually, I'd go for a team overhaul, ultimately. Pero wala tayong budget for that. How again is chain bonus being triggered, Prof? Okay, balikan natin to. Yung chain is kapag dalawang magkaibang axi na claim ng same card, ng same class na cards. Okay? So, halimbawa, uh, I'm gonna erase this a bit. Okay? So, axi 1 plays plant card. Okay? Axi 2 plays plant card. So, you trigger your game bonus here. I think, yung best for me, Yung mga Gyrish Worm, Barb Strike, uh, Axis with Q20. Yung Terror Chomp. So, yeah. If you don't have any more questions, we'll now go to Entering Last Stand. Okay? Oy, hindi. Hindi for plants lang. For any class yon. For any class yon. Paano po ma-counter Termi? You can do Gravel Ant. Or... Uh, pwede rin kayong uh, mag-double talk. Yan Yan Cruz, redeemed scholarship. Congratulations. That's the third redemption. Congratulations, Yan Yan Cruz. We have last two slots for the redemption, huh? Last two. Uh, you gain income from winning arena. You gain SLP. Okay, you gain SLP and you can uh, trade those tokens for real money. Hmm. Last two, last two. Congratulations again. Now, uh, people, focus on tayo ulit. How do we know if we are going to enter last stand? Okay? So, let's check yung ating uh, moral modifier first. Uh, moral modifier natin, that's going to be uh, yung remaining HP ng axi mo 
Now, times your morale, this is your morale stat. That's a multiplication, okay? This is multiplication. And then you divide by 100. Okay? And then we go to our second quantity, which is excess damage. Ah. Now, the excess damage is the damage of the fatal attack minus the axis remaining HP. Alright? So, what is it? If the morale modifier is more than the excess damage, you enter your last stand. Okay? So, think about it. Try to analyze. Now, if your beast axis. Oh, Oh, kunwari ito yung beast axe nyo, ha? Kunwari ito yung beast axe nyo. Okay. Tapos yung remaining HP daw niya ay 90. Okay? Ano mangyayari sa atin? Kapag yung incoming fatal blow daw ay 120 damage. Ah, so, again, we calculate two things. First, moral modifier. So, okay. Try natin ipakita yung calculations. Here. Oh. So now, your morale modifier is going to be the same because the morale modifier is dependent on your remaining HP and your morale. So this is 90 multiplied by 59 over 100. So this is your remaining HP and this is your morale. Okay? So this is uh, 5310. I think, yeah. That's 5400 minus 90. That's 5310 over 100. This is 53.1. Okay? Ah, so let's look at it again. Now, what's going to happen here? We now check your exist damage so simply lang exist damage that's 120 minus 90 so this is 30 okay so makita nyo na since your morale modifier is greater than your exist damage Pakita natin yan. Moral uh, modifier greater than excess damage. Therefore, in this first case, we enter last stand. Okay, moving on. Dito, ano yung excess damage? That's 144 minus 90. This is 54. Okay. Now, Ang mangyayari sa atin dito, since mas mataas yung ED natin, excess damage, then your MM, okay, you actually don't enter last stand. Okay? And you see, ang moral ng pure beast ay 61. So, kung 61 yung moral ng beast ko, I probably would have entered last stand here. Okay? Ilan bar yung last stand? I actually have no uh, resources for this. Okay? Hindi pa ako nakakapag, uh, nakapag crunch ng numbers enough for this kung ilan yung ticks. But generally, for beasts and bugs, okay? Beasts and bugs, you have three. For aquas, you have two. Okay. And then generally for everyone else, oh, sorry, for aqua, you have one, sorry. For everyone else, that's two. Uh, two. Okay. Yung bird dalawa yun, ah. Yung bird dalawa yun. Mm. And the, dependent din siya sa moral stat, guys. So, halimbawa, meron kayong aqua na, let's say, meron kayo nung cards na nag increase ng moral. So, pwedeng mag-increase yung text ng last stand nyo. Okay? Hmm. So, 
moral modifier is just dependent on your own stats. So, walang RPS na kasama doon. Your own stats lang yan. Oh, kung pure beast, so 61 yung moral natin. Ah, check natin kung ano. 61 yung moral. Wait, hindi nyo pala kita sa part na to. So, 61 times 90 over 100. This is 5490 over 100. That's 54.9. Yan, mag-enter tayo ng last stand dyan. Oh, two slots na lang available pala for 5K. Kaya galingan daw sa exam. Sana mag-grade ngayon. Okay. So, ito na yung actually yung huling ano natin, huling part natin sa last stand. Okay. May questions ba kayo? Two slots for the 5K. Two slots for the 5K. Uh -huh. ah. ah, kung pure beast, yes, kaya hanggang 5 kung gumamit ka ng dalawang confident na card. If you're a pure beast and then you use yung card na nag increase ng morale, pwede kayong maka 5 ticks ng last stand sa arena. Other questions? Okay. Ah, yung percent yung mga ano na yan, yung mga percentage chance ng crits, okay. Maybe next time, maybe next time. Yeah. The HP of the axi before the round begins, yeah. Okay. Okay. Peace Treaty. Uh, yung Peacemaker card ba yan? Yung bird card? So, sa kalaban yun? Kapag target, sa kalaban yun? Alright. Ah. Kung wala na tayong questions, let's just try to play again. And, you know, actually get some wins. Wala ah, wala tayong any sort of uh, financials na pag-uusapan dito. Okay. So, mga questions about technical, fundamental analysis, about the tokens. I'm sorry, but I won't be entertaining those. Okay, you know, if sa breeding natin uh, merong enough clamor for it, maybe we can talk about it. But right now, gusto natin na yung streams natin matulungan talaga yung mga nagsisimula pa lang sa kanilang Axie Infinity Journey or yung mga gustong mag-start pa lang. Okay? Ah, MNZ Gamers, okay? Familiar names here. Um, hmm. Wala tayong ganan kagagandang options dito. So we're just gonna pass. Typical plant cards with energy. Pliers. Okay, pliers. Dull grip. Malakas yung damage versus shielded targets. Wait, pero may risky fish siya. Huh. And then ito, oh, a lot of energy stealing here. So, sige, I guess. Ang dami niya masyado energy steal, we might want to actually use up our energy first. And we use the watering can para kung may aqua cards siyang gagamitin, you know, makuha natin yung energy. Okay, there you go. That was worth it. Hindi siya nakakuha ng energy sa atin sa play na yun, And we soaked a lot of damage. But we were not able to play around chomp. Error natin yun. And now... Oh! Critical! So watering can. Okay, we'll take that. 
Ah, ganun pa rin. Gusto natin wala tayong energy na nakatambay. Okay? Ah, ilang oras sasagutan yung exam? Exam is good for an hour. Isang oras lang. Okay? Ito na yun lang siya. Okay? So, right now, sure naman tayo, mapapatay na natin yung uh, plant using double talk, of course. So, we can perhaps use watering can and try to draw some energy from this aquatic axi. Kasi, hindi pa nagpiplay ng cards yung aquatic axi and, you know, there's a high probability na yung aquatic axi na yung gagalaw this turn. And there we go, as we have predicted, gumalaw yung aquatic axi niya. But that's gonna cost us, perhaps. Yep, that it did. Okay. Nakakita na tayo ng dalawang chomp, so we're not expecting chomp anytime soon. Isang night steel, so baka may night steel pa siya sa kamay. Na, uh, one more night steel. So, ubusin na natin to and use sinister strike dito sa reptile. Okay? So, this is gonna give us a lot of damage. Hindi na mabubuhay yung aqua dyan. Oh, wait. May naka-redeem ulit? Ha, uh ha. -huh. I missed that. Penlonimus. Hello. Congratulations sa iyong redeem. Okay. Wala siyang nakuhang energy, but our bird is gonna go down. Wala pa siyang napiplay na bulk quark. And... It's really gonna hurt kung may dalawa siyang i-play this turn. So we might wanna pass and wait for bulk quark. Kahit isang bulk quark lang. Oh, na-foresee niya yung pass natin. Okay. Then we're gonna have to... Uh, huh. We're gonna have to attempt na reverse na siya right now. The damage might not be enough, but let's see. Okay, I think the damage is gonna be enough. There's the bulk quark. Okay, there we go. And kasi yung uh, bulk quark uh, that offers shielding. One slot left para dun sa 5, okay? 5k? Hmm. Let's just try to play one last game before uh, yung ano natin? Oh, baka RDG yan. Ito. Ito yung talagang naiinis ako ng mga axis. Itong may ganito. Barb Strike or Garish Worm, yung pangalan ng part. So, well, we can just maximize yung value ng uh, bird natin. Hopefully, on turn 2, maka-draw tayo ng all-out shot. But right now, we're gonna want to deal as much damage to this plant para magamit natin yung double talk combo natin. Okay? There we go. Hmm. That's a lot of damage dealt to this plant. Ah, okay. Since we uh, anticipate tayo ng backdoor from the aqua, we're gonna maximize the value of the bird by doing this. Okay? Kung hindi mag-backdoor yung aqua, okay pa rin, we can use the cards next turn. Kung mag-backdoor yung aqua, we maximize the value of the bird, take down the plant, and hindi tayo nag-expend ng kahit anong energy. Alright? Alright? 
Okay, hindi nag-backdoor yung aqua. Then that's gonna hurt. Oh, actually, alam mo, you and I both, hindi rin ako familiar dyan sa raid, raid na yan. So now we're gonna go for the aqua this time. We're gonna take this down. Okay, and now, oof, the critical. Ah. Now, Terminator na yung kalaban natin, Terminator Axie. So, you really don't want to go sa isang 1v1 situation with a Terminator Axie. But luckily for us, uh, this is a 2v1 situation. So, we won't have problems with this. Yan. And we'll just... Uh, use heroic rewards for combos. Kasi next turn, itong Axie na to, hindi niya tayo mag-reverse this turn, so boost na natin yan lahat. Oh! Hindi na siya gumalaw dun. Okay. So now, atin na tong game na to, guys. Okay. We just have to do double talk, you know, and play a card. Kasi... Uh, kahit mag-shield siya, double talk makes us uh, pierce through the shielding. Okay. Uh, right now, I am uh, looking at your questions. Meron ba kayo in-address na questions sa akin? Sorry if I can't uh, answer all of them. Mm-hmm. Prof, bawal po, di ba, ibigay mo ang scholarship dito? Okay lang, okay lang ibigay. Walang problem doon, ha? Walang problem ibigay. Basta, one Twitch account, isang beses lang makakaredeem ng scholarship. Ah, sorry, nasagot na pala yun ni Mod Jackie Boy. Thank you, Mod Jackie Boy, for that. Will you do raid for tonight, Prof? Okay. Hmm. I want everyone, before natin i-explore yung raid na yan, I want you to take note of this. Ito yung uh, link natin to the second long test. Alright? Hmm. I-save na. I-save na yan. Hmm. Ah. I-save na, ha? Para sa exam. Pag nag-top 3 ka sa exam na to, Scholar ka na kagad. Ah, sige. Take your screenshots. tinyurl.com slash proflp capital yan dash capital LT2 oh, Open lahat. Open kahit ano. Open calculator, lahat, notes, pwede. Ah, kapag po nanalo sa exam, pwede pa mag-claim sa Twitch. No, kasi one Twitch account, one redemption lang ng scholarship. Alright? Ah, it's not accepting responses right now, of course, kasi 8, 8, 8 p.m. pa po magbubukas. Oh, chill lang tayo, ha? 8 p.m. bubukas yung exam. Hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. Siyempre, may math. Ah, huwag kayong mag-alala, may essay questions din. At tapos, kapag pare-pareho pa rin kayo ng score, kung sino mas mabilis nag-best. Kung same kayo ng scores, halimbawa, sampu kayo, o tay kayo, kung sino yung tatlong pinakamabilis na tapos, sila yung magiging scholars. Okay? Hmm. 
Ha. Open everything yan. Kahit yung mga YouTube videos sa mga previous lectures natin, panoorin nyo lahat habang nag-exam. But remember, you only have an hour to finish everything. Ha. Ilan items lahat? You'll find out when you take the exam. Okay. Pwede po hingin yung handout nung ngayon nyo tinuro nyo po. Okay, I'll try to upload to Discord as soon as possible. Okay na lahat, ha? Sorry guys, but time zone, uh, GMT plus 8 time zone. So the exam is gonna open in 27 minutes. Wait, paano ba yung raid na yan? How do we do that? How do we do that? How do we do that? Uh -huh. Paano yan? How do I do? Ano? How do I do that? Anong pipindutin ko dapat? Uh. Teka. Okay. Slash raid. And then channel name. Ah. Ah, okay. Ah. So. Ah. Okay. Ah. Ah. Ako kasama, hindi. Kasama ako dun, hindi. Ah, sige, tingnan, tingnan natin to si... Uh, huh. ah, meron ba kayong mga recommended channels for us to raid? Huh? Matt Defies. Ah, sige, Matt Defies. Okay, okay. Let's go to Matt Defies then. Okay, I'll see you there then. Ah. Ah. Let's go. The Rimp. Oh, thank you so much to the ex-professor LP. Thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, check out... I'm gonna definitely check out the ex-professor XP after after the stream. But thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> thank you, thank you guys, and welcome. Welcome to the stream. I'm gonna skip here because... Even though we have a perfect uh, car hand here, we were not gonna get to play it. He's a legit professor. Whoa, I'm gonna have to check the professor out then. Thank you so much for the raid, very kind. That's a huge raid, guys. Thank you. Thank you for everyone new. Appreciate you guys watching. Okay, so we're gonna do a, a little bit of a combo here, which should get us a... Uh, we should survive. It's gonna be a pretty close game. Actually. We should survive and get a kill here. The good news is that he won't be able to counter the stun on this guy. Wait. Okay. That's a problem though. This is a problem, guys. Look, what do we do here? What are we supposed to do here? Yo, we are at 1,000 viewers? That's, our, that's a milestone for us, guys. That's a milestone. Thank you so much for everyone that's here. Wow, guys, 1,000 viewers? Okay, okay, I gotta... Hold on. I gotta share some love here. Um, with the community, okay. He skipped. I skipped. Okay, okay, okay. Don't do this to me, bro. I know what you're gonna do. 
Don't skip my turn. Wait, wait. Let me do. Let me redo it. Oh no, no, no. What's going on? I know he's gonna go for like attacks. Yes. Yeah, see? No, I didn't do my combo right. What did I do? I did. I was. <laughs> but wait, we tried. We tried our best. Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. The reason that happened was because I was trying to to give five uh, five gifts that I'm gonna. I'm gonna share the love with the community here. That deserves a celebration, so there you go, guys. Five gifted to the community. Thank you so much for a thousand viewers, guys. Congrats to the congrats to the to everyone that got the the subs. Yeah, thank you guys so much. A thousand a thousand viewers. That just blows my mind, guys. Alright, let's continue with the game here. That was a... Uh, I don't know if it mattered what order I, I played in. I think I think he just had too many cards. <laughs> can we start with a cheeky... Can we blow up the plant like we just blew up the chat? Can we blow up the plant like we just blew up the chat? Yeah, guys, thank you so much for the for all the followers. Thank you to the professor for the raid. And helping us reach this crazy milestone. Um, this is insane, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very happy. Very happy. Gonna keep... Guys, in case you haven't um, checked out the ACG, the Access Free Guild, we're gonna be giving out a lot of scholarships in the coming months. Um, we want to get to 100 as soon as possible. And once we do, we're even gonna offer better rates. We're gonna offer 70% to scholars. We do 65% at the moment. So definitely check out the ACG. There's also a graduation program. You guys definitely need to check it out. Um, I know there's a lot of managers at the moment trying to give as many scholarships as possible. So yeah, I know there's a lot of you that, need, that want scholarships, that need scholarships. So yeah, we're just trying to do it as fast as possible, as fast as we can. Okay, let's try to juice here. I won't overextend, but... Okay, we... We do juice, right? Yeah. We move like this. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> that was an insane raid. It was like a good timing. Huge raid. Made, made us cross a thousand viewers. That just blows my mind. That just blows my mind, guys. What, do you guys want... Do you guys want a few, a few marble games to to finish off the stream? 